Grand Theft Auto 4's performance is known for being pretty ungood. Thankfully, projects exist that aim to improve the game's stability and performance. I have made a beginner's guide which includes many of them being installed onto your game. However, I did exclude one, which is DXVK. I excluded it for various reasons, it has inconsistent results, it can be tricky installing it, especially if you use EMBs, and you'll need a GPU that supports Vulkan. Now why Vulkan? Well, let's go over what DXVK does. It translates the game from the typical Direct 3D API to a Vulkan based one. This can possibly result in lots of performance enhancements. That's because the game will be much less of a CPU hog. A quick heads up that a lot of tech mumbo jumbo flies around with this, and I'm not exactly tech savvy enough to discuss it in the utmost detail. I don't want to misrepresent it, so a fair warning is some information discussed today is quite vague or just left out entirely. The project is pretty huge, and I suggest you check it out for yourself. DirectX 9, which is what the game uses, is incredibly outdated and suffers from tons of limitations. These limits are frequently exceeded by the game, which is what causes the common stuttering. Vulkan, however, is still great at rendering overall and has no issues with limitations, resulting in much smoother gameplay. However, this is where the inconsistent results come from, as the game's API isn't the only thing that needs to handle everything. You'll need a GPU and CPU that can as well. Now let's go over some of the key features. Shader Cache No longer will shaders be loaded every time you run the game. They are saved into a little file and will be loaded before the game is loaded itself. You can possibly encounter more stuttering when you first install the mod, however it will quickly fade. Less CPU Overtime Utilizing DXVK will result in the CPU working less overtime. This means the game will perform better as the CPU is better utilized. Smoother Gameplay the methods used for their VSync will appear smoother than the regular DirectX one. Now I mean that with visuals from the screen tearing VSync improves on, but also in general DXVK as a whole affects even input feel, like with frame skipping, stuttering, and input delay. The final main point is improved draw calling. Another reason DXVK makes the game less of a CPU hog is because it speeds up how quick the game's renderer can process things. Draw calling is the term of when a CPU is communicating with the GPU about just shit that's on the screen. It also removes the draw calling limits that existed before. This is what I was referring to at the beginning of the video. Unfortunately, installing the sucker can be pretty annoying. You just have to cross off a checklist. Below this video, I have a link provided which goes to the DXVK requirements page. Here, you need to check your GPU's version and compare to what version is recommended from DXVK. And below in the description of this video will be a note section. Here, I'll be posting anything of importance. The reason why I'm doing this is because DXVK is a very long-term project and things can definitely change a lot over time. So to prevent this video from being outdated, I've done this. Before you continue, there's a tool available that automatically checks your hardware and creates whatever settings are necessary for you. However, I have not used it, but it will be linked below if you wish to try it. And to reiterate from the previous guide, Gillian has a splendid modding guide for the game, which goes into more detail if you need it. And now, to actually install it. Head and download what version is applicable to you. Open the main folders, then x32, because it's a 32-bit game, and drag and drop d3d9.dll into your game's location. Make a file called dxvk.conf, which is essentially a configure file, and paste what I put in the description. Next, adjust your launch options. If you don't know what that is, head to your game's location. Make or find a file called commandline.txt. Open it and put the commands on screen. The numbers for available vidmem are whatever your video memory is. Then add .0. The maximum is 3 gigabytes, which is 3072.0. The final command to plop here is dash windowed. This makes the game windowed mode, which will make everything feel and run smoother, especially for those who alt have frequently. Now you might not like windowed mode because of the ugly ass borders in the corner, but the mods installed from the previous video will make the game borderless. If you run into further issues past this point, refer to the note section check Gillian's guide or comment below. Now typically you might expect some kind of results section but I'm honestly too lazy to do it and in my opinion it's kind of useless anyway as results are pretty inconsistent from user to user. But if you still want results I have a video linked below which does have that and you may learn something new about the project if you're interested. Anyway uh bye.